So this is Professor Hamrick at Rhodes College. Okay, we're done collecting our 3,000 measures. Each one of these measures is the difference in two sample proportions. Uh, we're going to do what we have very typically done when building confidence intervals. I'm going to table off of this uh, collection of measures that I've generated and create a dot plot that represents the randomization distribution. So again, the quantities here are the differences in sample proportions. One group is the group of individuals who were given a questionnaire who then expressed interest in volunteering. Uh, that proportion minus the proportion of those individuals not given a questionnaire who later on expressed an interest in volunteering. Not surprisingly, the output from uh, this randomization procedure is approximately Gaussian. It's a little bit left skewed, but that's exactly why we have the switch trick available to us. So what do we do with this randomization distribution? Three things, okay? I'm going to plot the measure as taken for the original set of data. That's a difference in proportions. It's 0.3133, okay? Not surprisingly, it lies right in the middle of this randomization distribution. Uh, if we want to build, let's say, a 92% confidence interval, how would I get the upper bound and lower bound. Well, uh, we're going to take twice the original measure, okay, 3133, three, and subtract an upper percentile. Now, if it's a 92% confidence interval, we want to leave 8% probability mass in both tails. That means the percentiles of interest are the fourth percentile and the 96th percentile. So my upper percentile is going to be 96 and there's our lower bound right here. To create the upper bound, I'm going to take twice the original measure and subtract the lower percentile, namely the fourth percentile of our randomization measures. Okay, that's going to be the upper bound of our empirical confidence interval. So what can we say here? We can say a variety of things, but let's review a couple right now. So uh, we know that we are 92% uh, confident that the true difference in proportions in this situation is between 0 0.076 and 0.576, okay? Stated similarly, uh, the set of all null hypothesized values for the true difference in pi 1 and pi 2 uh, that would we would not reject uh, h sub 0 for in favor of the two-sided alternative is those values between 0 0.0766 and 0 0.576. All right? 